Hello again, everybody. Welcome in to another week of the Memphis Sports Zone. I'm your host, Brian Eccles, outside the FedEx Forum. The Grizzlies already in preseason play. Last night, they tipped off on the road at Milwaukee. Tonight, it was against Houston, and this weekend, they'll come home for the first time in the preseason when they host the Atlanta Hawks. Now, still plenty of questions to be answered about this Grizzlies team as they head toward the regular season. What about the point guard spot? Who will be the top backup behind Mike Conley? Will it be Nick Calathis or will it be Baino Udry? How about the small forward position? Tayshawn Prince, Vince Carter, Quincy Pondexter, all vying for minutes there. And then there's the Memphian Jarnell Stokes. How will he find playing time on this veteran Grizzlies team? We've got a chance to catch up with the big fella. And so far, he's learning plenty from the veteran Grizzlies. I'm enjoying the process right now. Um, right now, it's just a learning experience. Um, my game has gotten a lot better just being around these guys. For rookie Jarnell Stokes, enjoying the process means learning all he can about the NBA game. His teacher, fellow big man, Zach Randolph. He's so physical and you just wouldn't expect it, but he, he gets away with a lot of, um, I would say, vet moves and, and, and I fell for a lot of them. And, and, and I, as a rookie, a lot of guys don't get a chance to learn from a vet, so I have him doing this to me every day and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Like Randolph, Stokes comes in with a reputation of being a monster on the boards. If he's to contribute, that could be his best chance. In the meantime, he's working hard to strengthen his offensive game. He's learning. He's making mistakes. He's doing some good things, and, and, and he doesn't get down when he makes mistakes. And then our guys won't let him, and our coaching staff won't let him. He's just going to keep getting better and better and uh, keep learning as much as he can. And uh, He's going to play. He's going to get a lot of reps in practice. Uh, you know, with the way that our roster is made. So he's going to have to, his games will be practice. I learned a lot. You know, Zach Randolph, Coach Storton, we get together and we, we just talk about, you know, certain ways to score in, in the post. And um, I became a, a lot better at scoring. You know, I'm I'm not a, a jump shot kind of guy, but I've been taking the jump shot a lot more and I've been competing. In and the thought of competing for the NBA franchise in his hometown in front of family and friends, Stokes is often described as surreal. But now that it's real, he has a point to prove. He feels there's no way he should have fallen so far in the draft. And they get some extra feel to make sure everyone sees that. Yeah, I feel like it'll be a motivator for um, the rest of my life. I feel like that's just something I walk around with. I walk around with a chip on my shoulder. I don't. I don't think I deserve to be drafted in the second round, but you know I landed in a good destination, and, and the Grizzlies really like me, so that's that's all I can ask for. As long as these guys enjoy me being here and, and really like what they see, um, I'm happy. Don't you move? More Memphis Sports Zone on the way. We'll talk about that backup point guard spot. Get Coach Dave Yeager's thoughts. That more next inside the Memphis Sports Zone. But right now, check out Courtney Lee from way downtown. 